Hello guys, today we're going to look at the clocking of the CV joint and uh, this axle I got from Brickworks. Because um, if you noticed, uh, if you watched the other movie clip, when I checked the joints, one of the CV joints it's turned around on this axle. But that's not all, it's also clocked the wrong way. Let me show you. If you see here, there's a big narrow, narrow, wide portion of the axle. And if you look at the other side, it's the same. Wide, a uh, narrow, no, narrow, narrow and a wide portion. This is not correct. It should be wide on this side, narrow on this side. Opposite every time, every other time. This is the end with the comfort edge. The comfort edge should be on this side. So we're going to take off this joint and uh, rebuild it the correct way and then we will have to clock it with the joint over here. So to open this we need a plier that goes outwards. Hopefully this will work. And here we go. Then we need to take this metal part off. Let's see. we go. Then we can just slide the joint off the axle and here we have it. So, oh this is even some grease inside. Nice one. More messy for me. I need some gloves. This screw is always facing the gearbox or the outside of the wheel, depending on which way you have it. But always on the outside of the axle. This one is a little strange because this one has no comfort edge here. But on the inside, it's a comfort edge on this one. No trust uh, surface like it was on the other, the other joint that I have. But anyway, here is the comfort edge. There is no comfort edge, just flat. But here is the comfort edge. I don't know why. Unknown trust washing, trust bearing, trust surface. Okay, we have to guess that this is supposed to be the inside, so I will make this one the inside. Then we need to turn this over. Okay, let's see. Outside. And the flat side goes this, this way. So... Okay, <clears throat> here we go, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide. Comfort edge inside, flat outside. Okay, let's see, like this, then we need the narrow one. Okay, no. The joints are very flexible and you can shift the axle like this with no problem. Mm. 
Now we need to put this one back. And that is easiest when you have it on the bench like this. And here you go. It snaps in place very easily when you just have it over the edge. And we have the narrow one on top, wide on each side. Let's see on the other side. Here we have the wide on top, narrow on each side. So this is the opposite of the other side. Wide, narrow. Okay, so that's it how you clock the drive shaft. It's not so hard when you know what to look for, so uh, yes. And if you wonder how to, to rebuild this one, you can just look in the other video I have on my YouTube channel. That's all for me this time as well. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.